<laughs> Gary Wait for it. He needs to start speaking. How do you catch a unique rabbit? Oh, oh, unique up on it. <laughs> How do you catch a tame rabbit? The tame way, you unique up on it. Now, well, what did you f expect? That's all I've got. I'm not a funny man, and we know that. No, you're not. I can come out and try and pretend to be funny, and that's not going to work. They're the only two jokes I've ever known in my life. Or I can sit back and, and think about the people who aren't up here on stage with me and they're my colleagues down the front who are laughing at my misery. So I thought it's only fair that I share some stories about them with you. And That's it. I was thinking about how far I could go with this sort of stuff. You know, should we keep it? And I thought, f*** it. Yeah. 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 Let us start with a, a good friend of mine, Bill Brownless, who's down here, Bill. Round back. We go way back. Billy and I go way back. We played in a um, representative cricket side. We went away. I was the captain, naturally. And um, <laughs> Bill, and I walked in one day after a game and he, he had this concerned look on his face. So being the captain, I thought I'd best do the right thing. I said, Bill, what's your problem? He said, oh, I can't talk about it. I'm embarrassed. I said, mate, come on. I'm your captain. You can confide in me. He said, oh, well, all right. I had a bit of an issue the other day. I went in the rooms to get change and Kev the wicket keeper was there. Kev, <laughs> Kev. And he showed me his dick. <laughs> I thought, oh Jesus. So all sorts of things are running through my mind. And there's Bill looking at me. I said, well, what happened? And Bill looked at me, he said, well, reminded me of a peanut. And I said, oh, who, why? Because it was small. And Bill looked at me with a bit of a glint in his eye. He said, nah, salty. <laughs> So, very good. Now, I become a confidant of his, and he would come to me regularly with all sorts of issues. He walked up to me one day, funny, he's walking funny. I said, Bill, what's wrong? He said, I'm not, I don't want to tell you. I said, come on, you can tell me anything. He goes, no, you'll laugh at me, you won't take me, you'll you, you, you embarrass me. I said, mate, what's wrong? He said, all right, I've got a golf ball stuck up my ass. <laughs> And I said, four. He goes, see, I told you you wouldn't f***ing take me seriously. <laughs> I f this up. Anyway, he... <laughs> the next day, hang on, that was me follow-up to what was supposed to be the funny one. James Brayshaw. Yes. A lot of people haven't got a good word for Jim. <laughs> I have. Cockhead. <laughs> Just started on Instagram. That's Become it. an instant fuckwit. <laughs> I've seen him mature. In the past six or seven years we've worked together, he's come of age. Got his first pube yesterday, so... Look at these idiots down here. <laughs> which gets me, which gets me to my great friend and all our friends, Sam Newman. Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, they say you shouldn't speak ill of the dead, but I'm going to, so... <laughs> My grandfathers both passed away when I was young. So, oh, I've assumed the role of the grandson to Samuel. And every morning I go around, I mash his food up, I feed him, I wipe his chin. Change his nappy for him and get him sorted. And what he does, Sammy, he loves his cars, his Lambos and Mustangs and Jags. He loves them and he's a f***ing horrible driver. <laughs> He's uh, belligerent, never wrong, thinks he's a great driver. So anyway, I ring him every morning. Every single morning I ring him to see if he's still alive. And I ring him up. <laughs> I ring him this day, I said, Sammy, what are you doing? He said, oh, just driving down the Monash Freeway. I said, oh, f be careful. I just heard on the radio there's some f going down the wrong way on the Monash Freeway. <laughs> and he said, one, there's a hundred of the f <laughs>
<laughs> You've been a great audience. I'm going to leave you with this one. <laughs> My three friends that I want to tell you the story about, uh, Sam, Sam Newman, James Brayshaw and Billy Brownless. Um, I've, I've seen in the future because I've got great concerns about them as they grow old. And <laughs> I've seen in the future and this is what happens to them. They all die on the same day. Oh, the whole throw, that's sad. Yeah. That's sad. And uh, just before they died, Bill had turned into an alcoholic. <laughs> Jim here turned into a sex addict. Yep. And the old Fawzel, where you may not realise, is that he loves a bit of marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> so they went down to hell and Satan walked in and he said, I like the look of you three, I'm going to grant you one wish. <laughs> you're going to put it, you're going to take it down here into hell for a hundred years, you're going to have it. What do you want, Bill? And Bill said, give me frothies. 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 <laughs> so bang, he clicks his fingers, this big room full of VB frothies went in there. Bill said, beautiful, get out. So Satan shut the door. He's on fire. He went over to Jim. He said, Jim, what do you want? He said, give me women. Oh. Give me plenty of them. So blondes and brunettes and redheads. Oh. Jim said, beautiful, let me at him. Shut the door. <laughs> he went over to the old horse. He said, what do you want? He said, give me marijuana plants. Give, give me the finest weed with the big buds. So he went back and there's a big, there was as far as I could see, a crop of marijuana. So Sam sat down, crossed his legs. Took a big deep breath and said, thank you. And Satan said, good, shut the door. hundred years later, went back. He said, wonder how they go on these blokes. So he went to Bill, <laughs> opened the door and reeked of vomit. And his Bill's 190 kilos. And standing there. And Bill goes, let me out, let me out. He said, bad luck, slam the door shut. Went over to uh, Jim Boy. He said, uh, let's see how Jim's going. Opens the door and there's kids running everywhere. <laughs> Dirty white man's and Jim's going to let me out, let me out. And Satan's in bad luck, slam the door. <laughs> Are we still on? He went over to force. He said, I wonder how the old champ's going. So he opens the door and there he is in the same pose, sitting. Hasn't moved a muscle, plants still there, nothing touched. Satan said, this is strange. So he went over to the old champ and he leant down. <laughs> Sam looked up with his speedy <laughs> eyes and a tear trickled down and he said to Satan, haven't got a light, have you? Oh! <laughs>